Ed here with the Digital Digest, and today I wanted to share a quick look at the Kingston 64GB Data Traveler Micro Duo 3C. Now it sports that name because this is compatible with Type-C USB 3.1 devices. So if you own a phone like myself, the Pixel XL, that has a Type-C port, or if you have a computer, a laptop, any device with a Type-C USB port and have been looking for a jump drive for that device that gives you flexibility because this does have Type-A on the other side, traditional uh, you know, USB interface, not just Type-C, uh, then this may be a perfect fit for you. Uh, it go I believe it tops out at 128 gigs in capacity. Kingston furnished me with a 64 gig uh, version to share with all of you. So uh, I don't know really where it stands in terms of read and write speeds. That's something I'll find out as I use it and test it out. But again, I wanted to share this with you because uh, I do feel that Kingston makes solid products at value-oriented prices. And, uh, you know, to me, this is something that could be invaluable in a lot of uh, respects. I could think of just the other day, uh, I was out uh, and a file needed to be sent. There wasn't uh, any uh, internet access, believe it or not, making sure I'm cutting the right line here, because this is one of those incredibly beautiful packages to open, as many of you know, uh, and I just love unboxings. But the point is, is that, so I had no internet access, but clearly had I had one of these drives on me um, to transfer data from my laptop to my phone, then I would have had internet access. Now, I do still have unlimited data with Verizon, so I would love to tell you hotspot was an option, but it's not, I don't have hotspot. So um, at least, not in a traditional sense. So here we have it, tiny five-year warranty. Again, Kingston stands behind what they make, but look at the size of that sucker. So um, I would have preferred 128 gigs, but Kingston furnished me with 64. Uh, and you know, essentially that's going to be the sweet spot in pricing also. None of these are going to be incredibly expensive, but look at the form factor. It's a tiny little thing. And uh, basically, you just, that plastic housing, just removes, comes out like that. Don't want to confuse any of you. And there you have the Type C uh, connector. And you can seal that. Go back to Type A, which is, of course, USB 3.1 uh, as well, I believe, not USB 3.0. So the read write speeds on this should be fairly good. That's what I'm expecting. Uh, I will be testing it against one of Kingston's very own uh, 64 gig data travelers that is not a Type-C drive, uh, which will be another video I'll be sharing with all of you. But that pretty much sums things up. I mean, I think this is an incredibly convenient device. There are other things like it on the market. But again, I think Kingston is good at keeping pricing and performance in perspective and contextually important, especially when you don't want to spend a lot of money on something that really is a commodity these days uh, since phones are moving more towards fixed storage and of course USB type C uh, connection types for both charging uh, as well as data uh, even video uh, output you know uh, this doesn't just pertain to tablets and phones uh, computers are equipped with type C have been for a little while now so it makes sense uh, it does have uh, better throughput in many different ways. Any questions or comments, please feel free to post them. Hit that like button. And as usual, please feel free to subscribe. Later.